Alright, Rody, it's you and me back to back. What should be our theme music? ACDC. No, man, we gotta have Black Sabbath. We should use ACDC, Tony. They're way better than Black Sabbath. Just because you have a big gun doesn't mean you're the big gun. Well, that's what Pepper told me last night. Rody, you son of a... Jackpot! What up, Iron Man fans? What up, True Believers? What up, Batman fans? What up, Transformer fans? What up, DC fans? What up? What up, Iron Man fans? This is Sean Long of Long Shot Dreams and bringing you the Iron Man 2 Hot Toys Mark 6 Iron Man. Here's the box sleeve of the packaging. It has a really cool picture of the Mark 6 Iron Man in the very glossy packaging. It says Iron Man 2 Mark 6 one scale collectible figure. Movie masterpiece by Hot Toys right there. Both sides of the box sleeve just say Mark 6 Collector's Edition. On the back of the box sleeve you get a really cool picture of the back of the Mark 6 with all the little parts and shows it in its battle damage state here with its little base here with all the little credits and warning symbols. When you take off the box sleeve you see a window of the Mark 6 here with all its different pieces and there it says Iron Man 2 Mark 6. Back here is all the credits for all the designers and people who made the figure from Hot Toys. It's time to go extreme so let's open up the Mark 6. So here we got the Mark 6 and once again Hot Toys has done an amazing superior oh, masterpiece. Oh wow so this is definitely my favorite armor. What uh, it's cool is that um, you can start out like with the clean armor, but it still has like little dents and you can see here You know, it's like it's not like exactly just out of the factory You know, you can see the paint on here with the gold and the silver. It's quite nice and you yeah, the finger detail right here with you know the little articulated fingers and the repulsor palms and even there's gold in between uh, with these lines of the abdomen I just love the paint, especially on the gold. It, it's like exhaust, like he's been flying through the air, and um, his boots uh, right here. I just I love how glossy the red is. is it's very accurate, and uh, it looks very cool. And once again, you can lift up these flaps right here, as you know for the air brakes, just like how it has on all the other like the Mark II through, you know, all of them have these. So it's really cool. I love the exterior work on here and also you can also lift these parts up just like on the other ones like the Mark II, uh, two, three Detail with the wires and everything is just superb. It's really awesome. And I love the silver even in his joints right there. Like I said, just the amount of detail that Hot Toys is put in there is just top notch. One articulation of the Mark VI head can uh, rotate on this joint uh, right here as well as go up and down on this joint and on this next joint. So he has uh, I can also move a little bit on this neck joint a little bit. You can't go all the way up, but that's because of the light up feature. Arm can fully rotate as well as go in and out. You just move the shoulder pad out to get some good poses as you can see here. Also rotate at the bicep, bend at one point at the elbow, but it's a good uh, bend because of the light up feature. The wrist fully rotate as well as go in and out. And he has, with these hands, the fully articulated fingers that can do full on fists or give him the boot or, uh, you know, full on repulsor glass. Just like with the Mark IV, you can also, you know, go forward and back and also move it left and right at this point and as well as the top part. So you can do some really cool, you know, side poses, legs go forward and back, in and out. Uh, they rotate at the upper part at the leg, uh, bend at two points at the knee, and the ankles can pivot forward and back, um, ankle pivot side to side, rotate a little bit left and right, and has the toe articulation forward and back. So he has lots of articulation. Just like with the other Iron Man armors, you can rotate the little flares that you can use and you just rotate the back in. So it's cool that this one also has that too. What's cool on both repulsor hands, uh, you can deploy little arm rockets on there. They're a little tricky to get out, but they're really cool once you pull them out. Just like other Hot Toy Iron Man figures, this has a light-up feature in the eyes, the chest, and the repulsors. The repulsors have a switch right here, and also on the back right here, you have a switch for the head that switches on, and then if you uh, raise up this uh, flap right here, it has a switch for the chest. You can see how awesome and bright that the light is when you have them on. Mark 6 comes with a detailed instruction booklet and you need it with all the little things, uh, features it has. Comes with four pairs of hands. He comes with two open palm uh, hands. He comes with two fists. 
and he comes with two half uh, palm hands and of course he comes with the articulated finger hands. Not only does the Mark 6 come with this nice standard uh, hot toy stand with that says Mark 6 Iron Man 2 right there with the adjustable cradle. It comes with this really awesome detailed base, has a di uh, dead uh, hammer drone on there with nice little detail on the bullet hole. Well, it's for base, this is really nice. It's really cool. It has like little grass from the Stark Expo. It has this clear adjustable cradle to do like little flight poses. And you can see with the stand, you can do some really cool flight poses with Iron Man. It comes with an extra Tony Stark head or in the reveal head. And you can see here the likeness of Robert Downey Jr. is uncanny. It's so cool. They redid this head and like the previous Mark II, Mark III heads. And it looks so much like him. Plus, you can uh, drop down the faceplate. It comes with a bow damage faceplate to make a fully bow damage figure. And what's cool, you can take the regular faceplate on either head, the light up head or the Tony Stark head. If you want to have the Tony Stark head with the clean faceplate, you can. Or if you want it with the bow damage one, you can. Which is really great with the little magnets that you can see held in place just like the previous Hot Toys figures. It also comes with this extra neck piece if you have the Mark IV Tony Stark head, so if you just want to display it. Each arm comes with four little pieces to have a deployable air rockets uh, for each arm. The difference of when you have an arm with the, all the rockets in there and then when you have the arm without the rockets. What makes the Mark VI a must buy is that you can make this into two completely different figures. So you can make it into a clean figure or a battle damage figure. You get a fully battle damage arm. You get battle damage leg pieces. You get a battle damage right bicep piece. You get a battle damage right shoulder piece. You get this battle damage chest piece and the battle damage face plate. So you would do, you would take out this arm, you would just pull it out of the socket here and replace it with this one. Uh, you would take off this shoulder piece and the bicep piece right here is a magnet piece as you can tell right there. And then the chest piece easily comes off. You just come off right there. You can see the underneath workings of the Mark VI suit. You can see how bright the arc uh, Mark VI uh, arc reactor is. And the leg pieces are removable to put in the bow damage pieces. See here with all the bow damage pieces on there how awesome this figure looks. The bow damage here it's just top notch. I mean, the detail on here, especially in the chest piece, you can see that's where like whiplash, you know, whipped Iron Man right there, the bullets, holes right there, and the damage on the shoulder pieces. I mean, wow, Hot Toys knows how to do battle damage. It looks so amazing here. The leg pieces, here are the battle damage on both leg pieces, and this arm. This arm is absolutely tore up. You can see the inner workings of the Iron Man suit right here. And it's just so cool how you can put in these metal damage pieces, make it look entirely different. And I have here the other, uh, you know, rocket pieces, so you can make this look like an entirely different figure. Okay, Rodney, if we're gonna stop Whiplash, we need to give him the ultimate weapon. What's that, Tony? The MBH5. Michael Bay, high five! Your worst dog. No, Michael Bay is worse. Bay Implosion! <laughs> Size comparison time. So here you can see the Mark VI Iron Man's great scale with other Hot Toys figures like the Hot Toys War Machine and Whiplash. And you can see how much taller it is than the 6 inch Mark VI Iron Man. Now the Hot Toys Mark VI Iron Man so far is my favorite and the best Iron Man figure you can get. Not only, I mean it's all a preference to suit but I love the Mark VI um, suit because it looks like the extremist armor. I love that this comes with a bunch of pieces to make it a completely different figure in battle damage. I love the extra Tony Stark head. The base is awesome. I love all the uh, features on it. It is just top notch. It is an amazing figure. The detail articulation is out of this world. Uh, you can get this for 200 bucks. Uh, it was at Alter Ego, but it sold out. So. You know, if you can find this for 200 bucks, uh, that is a great price. Otherwise, this will be going up in value. But uh, if you're an Iron Man fan, you definitely need a Hot Toys Iron Man figure. They are amazing, and this one is definitely my favorite. I highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more Iron Man reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel, playing and show along. Until next time. I'm and I'm Iron Man. Whether you're a Marvel or you're a DC, there's one thing we have in common. We have alter egos. And both of us shop at Alter Ego Comics of Hot Toys, Sideshow Collectibles, and Replicas and more. They take pre-orders and PayPal, and they know how to be a superhero. Okay, Batman, we'll go shop at Alter Ego Comics, then drinks are on me. Why you wanna have drink me? Wow, Batman, you need a donut and a cough drop. Shut up, Stark. Wow, Tony, you got tore up. Yeah, that was the most expensive high five ever. Man, I need a new suit, but these suits cost a half a billion dollars each. Why don't you just send the bill to Michael Bay? He can afford it. Good thinking, Rodney. And while we're at it, 
Martinis and donuts on Michael Bay.